Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's take a look at draining a tank where the area at the top, the cross-sectional area at the top, is not necessarily much, much greater than the cross-sectional area of the hole. Still much bigger, but not enormously bigger. So we can no longer assume this situation right here. We're starting with the same equation where the flow rate is simply the velocity times the cross-sectional area, and of course that's going to be the same for the top and the bottom. And if we solve that equation for V1, it turns out to be like this. Then we square both sides, and then at that point we take V2 squared and subtract the left side, and V2 squared and subtract the right side. So we end up with this equation right here. Then we're going to factor out of V2 squared. We end up with this equation right here. And then we move the minus V1 squared on the left side to the right side. Now, we've got to remember that A1 is still much bigger than A2. Not enormously bigger, but still bigger. Which means that V1 relative to V2 should be relatively small. And then when we square V1, it is really, really small relative to V2 squared. So because of that, we can ignore this term right here. We can just simply remove it. And so we still have this equation, which is now approximately the left side equals the right side without the V1 squared. Then we realize from the previous video that V2 is going to equal the square root of 2GH. So V2 squared is 2GH. And therefore, when we solve this equation for V2 squared, we end up with this right here. So the difference between that and this, because this is what you'll get, when you let A2 be really, really small compared to A1, and then of course if you square the, both of them, then the square of A2, then A2 squared divided by A1 squared is so minuscule that essentially the denominator becomes 1, and you get back to your old equation. But if they're not that different, in other words, if A2 is not much, much smaller than A1, then you have to take it into account, and then V2 will be slightly bigger than the square root of 2GH. And that is the way which we look at draining a tank when we don't have an enormously big opening at the top and a very tiny hole at the bottom. And that is how it's done.